A new study shows that South Asians are more likely to get heart disease than the general population. Let's talk about why. Yeah, I mean, this is a study that I was not familiar with, but there's a ton of material on the internet, whether it's TikTok videos or Reddit threads. Let's run the clip. South Asians are starvation adapted due to having to survive at least 31 major famines, especially during the 18th and 19th centuries, along with chronic undernourishment. Did you know that South Asian bodies are made differently from other ethnicities? For instance, a young, healthy Caucasian can eat a cup of cream or ice cream every day and nothing happens. But if a young, healthy South Asian does that for just five days, guess what? They will become pre-diabetic. Hey guys, did you know that heart disease is a major concern amongst us South Asians? Shockingly, they develop heart disease a decade earlier than other ethnicities and have the highest death rate from this disease. Oh, boom. I mean, you know, what's really interesting is there have been a ton of articles on reputable papers like New York Times and other medical journals that have popped up saying, why do South Asians have such high rates of heart disease? It is a uh, 4X the average person in America. So listen, guys, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We're only doing this video because I think there's a lot of interesting like nature versus nurture elements that really could apply to anything really wrapped up in this whole discussion. Right, and of course, a lot of people are bringing up the term bad genetics, but ultimately, guys, a lot of different types of people uh, suffer from certain things more than others, but I think this is one of the things that maybe south asians have more of an issue with while other races may have issues with other things so anyways yeah i mean we want to talk about it right 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 for example andrew i believe that white women have the highest rate of skin cancer i believe that uh the african-american population has the highest rate of sickle cell mm. i know that asian east asians andrew they consume a lot of salty meats so sometimes there is uh issues with like consuming too much nitrites yeah you know, also and, and, the, and the downstream effects of that also east asians have a high rate of not being able to process alcohol molecules the asian glow so i guess anyways but we're gonna get into all this so guys if you're interested by this conversation hopefully it'll end up being insightful right 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 uh, i will say this anecdotally andrew i have a punjabi friend named dalbir and he is overweight he's good at hooping but he's clearly overweight he will not stop eating tons of naan. Like, he can't stop. Like, we were talking about it. You know, I see him in the gym sometimes, and it's just like part of some, I, I don't know, maybe it's a part of his lifestyle he's just not willing to part with yet. Okay, naan is delicious, by the way. But, yes, probably not great for you over the long term. Right, right, right. So, I just think that there's a lot of talk. And, by the way, guys, all the comments that I pulled from this video, they're from Indian forums on Reddit. These are, like, South Asians speaking to other South Asians. This is not people coming in from the outside to, like, point fingers at people. This is, for me, Andrew, an issue I was not even aware of. Mm. And um, so, anyway, people are talking about genetics, right? So, people are saying... Do Indians have very small blood vessels or do they not are not able to replenish their white blood cells as much or as fast? And what sort of impacts does that have? And even if it's true or not, Andrew, should this be something that even people want to think about? Because when you think about something where you are maybe potentially and obviously everybody's going to over or argue over extremity or intensity of like being genetically disadvantaged andrew wouldn't that affect your behaviors for the rest of your life if you knew it about yourself yeah i, I guess i could see that yeah so i guess what i'm trying to say is like for example if you are like west african nigerian that is a region of the world that is stereotyped for having very good genetics for athletics for example india is stereotyped and obviously there's a bunch of studies coming out now that is stereotypically bad for elite athleticism but it doesn't mean that for an average person it's going to have much bearing because at the end of the day i think like development to a pro level and then i, I do think there are some downstream impacts on like the average population but it probably shouldn't because once we get to the pro level, that's the only time where you see the genetic differences pop up. Mm. So anyway, let's just take a look at the comment section. Somebody said, yep, we're here for a good time, not a long time. And then somebody else said, well, in ancient culture, being plump is being seen as a sign that you eat well and you are rich. And that mindset has contributed to obesity and obesity is shunned in modern 2024. Mm. Andrew, how much do you think it is these ancient cultures, they just have like aligned certain incentives or identities that seem out of place in 2024? I don't know. I mean, I think that 
Uh, I guess if culture over many generations, I mean, and all these things are probably hereditary to an extent, uh, but like if that has been the culture for so long, I guess, but I also don't imagine and I don't perceive India to be like this super overweight place. Like I've seen chubby Indians, of course, but I've, I like when you look at videos of India, everybody seems pretty thin, but that doesn't mean just because they're visually thin, uh, that they're healthy. Right, and I guess that this is where the study was coming into play, saying that over generations of famine, uh, and of course there was a lot of discussion in the comment section, and it was due to the British and colonialism, basically the bodies uh, like stored onto fat. They, they, they keep fat due to famine, but in a time where food sources are more stabilized, then uh, that fat may like wrap around the organs more, which leads to the heart disease. Well, I'll tell you this, Asians actually are suffering from pretty high rates of diabetes right now because uh, of the types of food that a lot of Asians are consuming right Salty now. Salty meats. No, I mean a lot of sweets, a lot of extra carbs, right. all the sweet snacks, even things like boba. If you drink that too much, I mean, let's be honest, that's that's a lot of sugar and carbs right there. Uh, so that's going to lead you to be pre-diabetic. So I think a lot You're of- You're saying a matcha cheese tart- is not good for you. Dude, there's a lot of amazing Asian snacks out there, and if you keep eating them all, you will become pre-diabetic. Right, this led to the next comment section, Andrew. Somebody said, the food is just too good. That's why and an, an Indian person chimed in and said, see, you get it. We just can't get away from it. But other people said, you know, a lot of vegetarians, there's a lot of vegetarians in India, right, just due to religious reasons. A lot of people don't eat meat. However, Andrew, if you eat a fried vegetable pakora, fried in vegetable oil, it's still bad for you. Sure, sure. I, I, I can see that. Right, right, right. Um, other people said we're pointing out the rice and the non-consumption because it just leads to uh, high carbs, but uh, a lot of sugar, but low protein. Mm, okay, I could see the low protein aspect over many generations, I guess. Right, right, right. I think that um, other people were talking about lack of sports culture. Like, just it's just not, like, deeply ingrained yet. You know what I mean? So does the lack of sports culture over time change the genetics? Possibly, right? I guess over a long period of time. But I guess like who has a long sport? I, I wouldn't say China has like a long sports culture in the Western sense. I don't right. know. Right. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know about I, that I, argument. That's sports what I'm is saying. like sports culture. We're talking about a relatively new thing. That's like a last hundred year thing. Right, right, right. So, yeah, I think it really has more to do with diet and embracement of exercise, probably, for sure. And there's probably some genetics. Well, a lot of people involved. were saying India is too hot to really exercise. That's why the habits carried on once people immigrated to less hot countries. Like, the, the sense of, like, the uh, behaviors developed when it was too hot. Listen, guys, these are all Indian comments by Indian people, by the way. All South Asian comments. Zero from non-South Asians. I'm just reading them. Um, other people were talking about stress levels. A lot of people have a lot of um, high stress levels due to uh, they, they need to send money back home. They need to support a lot of people. Everybody's counting on them to like make it in the West. So they're going to get like a, um, a software engineering job and that's not going to lead them to like, that's more like a sedentary lifestyle. You're in front of three computer screens, two keyboards, things like that. Um, of course, everybody was just talking about all these different things. Um, you know, Sleeping late after a late, I mean, sleeping after a late dinner, which is really common. And or Cantonese people also famous for eating dinner at 9 or 10 p.m. at night. Mm. Um, and other people were pointing out things like arranged marriages because people don't need to like necessarily look good for the open dating market because they will have arranged marriages or something set up through uh, auxiliary system. That is a funny reason. I actually don't know if that has a huge impact on it, but maybe, yeah, I guess. You don't got to get fit because you, you know that you're already going to get married. But what percentage is that? You know, not even everybody. I mean, are also this study, are they talking about South Asians in America? South Asian Americans? Right. Right. Yeah. Which they that they would not suffer from the well, whole. According like, to the study, uh, globally, South Asians make up 25 percent of the world's population, but they account for more than 50 percent of the cardiovascular related issues. Yeah. I um, guess, yeah. yeah. I don't this know. Is, this is the last comment, guys, and I think I'll end with this because I think it sums up what is quite logical. Somebody said, you know, these big macro racial averages are just averages. There still are really short Dutchmen. Dutch people are the tallest people in the world and really tall Cambodians. I believe Cambodians are some of the shortest people in the world statistically. Despite the average trends, you could be the exception. Just go work out. Mm. Um, somebody else said, 
Every population has people with elite muscle genetics and trash muscle genetics. The average is just the average. If the math class average on a test is 75, it doesn't mean that somebody didn't score 100. It just means that a lot of people scored really low to bring the average down. Yeah, also, so if they're talking about by the amount of people with heart disease, then India being like the biggest country, of course it's going to have a lot of people. Well, that have uh, India's uh, South Asians are 25% of the world. That's a lot. Yeah, that's but, a lot of the world. Right, but I mean, it goes back to what I was saying about like a group, a quote unquote, a group being over indexing on a particular trait. Yeah, right. I guess like there's said, like white women with, um, I believe, melanoma or due to maybe tanning or whatever. You know, I'll tell you this, man. I always think it's a lot of factors. Like, let's say, for example, let's just example and or look at white women with skin cancer. White women, uh, their skin doesn't have a lot of melanin, but they like to tan a lot in tanning booths. And that's why tanning booths in 2024 have become very untrendy mm -hmm. due to new science, new studies, new macro big data that's been analyzed by, you know, third, fourth, fifth parties corroborated by so many PhD genius scientists. That's why it's going out of style because that group probably has some genetic thing that's like man that behavior super not meant for it but then they if they lean into that behavior like white women leaning into sun tanning beds then you get these like incredibly i guess like big patterns yeah so i just feel like that's like it is with anything and um you know hey man like we said there's so many factors in life i don't just think it's one thing i don't think it's the other thing but we got to be scientific and we got to just weigh things out all right, everybody, let us know what you think about this. Do Indians have bad genetics for sports? I do, I'm not saying they do. Obviously, that's the, the clickbait title that a lot of people are having, but I think it's a number of factors. So you guys let us know if you've heard about this, if you're Indian or Desi or South Asian, if you've heard about this, if you've talked about it with your friends, talked about it with your family, what, what's the solution? What can you do? And uh, thank you so much. Hit that like button. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.